Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on a September 21st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcano Activity Report, and as well, Planetary Positioning for Week 36, 2021, as we've had a pretty active week for volcanoes, and we do have some active planetary action coming this month. Right now, we're looking at Mercury encroaching and as well Venus. Leaving the Mercury retrograde last week, we were looking at Mars on the opposite side of the sun. And we are in the effects of Neptune and close to Uranus. So within the next week and a half, we're going to be seeing Mercury come around and as well, Venus following closely behind for Mercury retrograde on October 10th. We're already seeing many volcanoes that have awakened over the last little while. We're still sitting at about 40 volcanoes right now. We've been over the average number for quite some time. And to watch for more action to come around when we go through the Mercury retrograde coming up October 8th, 2021. And we will see an uptick in seismicity across the planet. And most likely, some more volcanic eruptions. These are the planetary positions for week 36, 2021 for weeks September 21st up until October 10th, where we have a Mercury retrograde. So right here now, we're going to have a look at all of the 40 erupting volcanoes from around the world. And we're actually looking at over 80 showing signs of unrest. These areas here I'm pointing out in yellow are on watch. We're also... Definitely keeping an eye on the situation in Spain, as well Kamchatka and Alaska. 80 showing signs of unrest. So that's including the active and erupting. So we've got about 40 that are in unrest. But all in all, we have over 80 volcanoes that are active and showing signs of unrest across the planet. We're going to start out here in Mexico with Popo and as well Santiaguito, Fuego, Pacaya, Talica, Masaya, and as well Recon de la Veja. So that's seven right there through just Mexico that are actively erupting, showing the stratovolcanoes going through the Caribbean. Subduction zone, showing signs of unrest. Lots of acti activity here as well. South America, Nevadas de Ruas. And then all of these in between. As well as Reventador, who has been getting updated all day long today. Sangue. Please feel free to check out the live stream at any time, 24-7. Also, Sabancaya in Peru. And then just today, we had a 6.4 earthquake off the coast of Chile, right by Nevadas de Chilean volcano, and a large eruption there on the 17th. Reported here, 6.3 earthquake, many aftershocks already. So heads up, Chileans. As well through the Aleutian I or sorry, through the South Sandwich Islands, Michael Volcano, the only one showing signs of unrest. Overlooking Africa, we've got Old Doinio, Lengel, who has awakened about uh, the, well, the last report it had awakened. Also near Mirigira and near Agongo, still showing signs of unrest. Mayotte in between Africa and Madagascar, and as well, Piton de la Fornes. 
or to ale. And then through the Mediterranean here, Etna, complex strata volcano, and as well Stromboli. And Campi Flegri, still showing signs of unrest from April 2021. And then big news this week, La Palma volcano, and it is still encroaching on people's homes and heading towards the ocean. Iceland as well, two awakened volcanoes. You've got Fagradis Faldi as well, Grinsfon, that has is showing signs of unrest, and as well Askja, the strato volcano. So more pressure being moved northward in Iceland. Down through Indonesia here. Sinabung Volcano. Kerinci. Krakatoa. Merapi. Semeru. And Luatolo. Through Indonesia. And even further north here with Ibu. And Dokono. Notables here showing signs of unrest in between those and as well an active tall volcano. Up into Japan here, very active recently, Suisunajima and Sakurajima. Nishinashima has awakened this week. Pretty sizable earthquake just north of that. And Fukutoku, and as well Pagan Volcano, which I had reported last volcanic activity report. Now through Papua New Guinea with Kedavor, Manam, Langila, Bagana. Showing signs of unrest here, Savo. As well, a couple more here through New, New Caledonia and Fiji, Gua Volcano, and Lopevi. Yasser Volcano. And of course, the mighty Erubis in Antarctica. Active lake in the summit since December 2014. Also going through Kamchatka here with Ebuko, Karamiski, Shivalich, and showing signs of unrest, Bezimiani, and then through very active Aleutian Islands in Alaska, very active recently, big puff of steam last night through Alaska. So we're looking here at Semisnapochnoi. And as well, the Great Sitkin, Cleveland Volcano showing signs of unrest, and Pavlov puffing off lots of steam this week. Also, still showing signs of unrest here, Mauna Loa and Kilauea. And that is the Volcanic Activity Report for week 36. And we always compare the SO2 models here, and we're going to start out here with Null School. And we've got quite a bit of sulfur content creating all across the New Madrid and eastward, northeast, United States and Canada. Lots of SO2 coming out of the situation in the Canary Islands with La Palma. And that's about to get worse. It's all going to be blown right back onto Spain Very intense SO2 levels through Southeast Asia, China, Pakistan, and as well increasing SO2 through Australia, especially Southwest Corner. Wow. South America, lighthouse SO2 levels, but fires are increasing there. But it's very interesting here. The seven volcanoes through Mexico and Guatemala New Madrid really lighten up, and as well, Western Canada. 
Having a look here at windy.com showing the forecast SO2 models over the next three days. And you can see a very large SO2 cloud coming out of La Palma and the Canary Islands. And it looks like it's going to get caught up in a high pressure ridge or sorry, a low pressure system just south of Spain. And then watch as that all, all that SO2 and particulates are thrown onto Spain. Leave you here looking at the SO2 models across the world. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the Volcanic Activity Report and as well, Planetary Positioning. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, tell me where you're watching from. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.